Hello and welcome to today's July 28th second stimulus check and second stimulus package update. We finally have the Republican stimulus check information and stimulus package details, so I'm excited to share that with you today. If you're a subscribed member of my community, well then welcome back. I so appreciate you. And if you're not, consider subscribing right now. Okay, after waiting since the middle of May, the Republican version of the next stimulus check and stimulus package is finally here. Uh, now, negotiations with Democrats can finally start, uh, and we can hopefully get some final answers and some money quickly, as I know so many of you are struggling financially. From my point of view, it seems as if the Republicans have asked for the smallest amount on every issue simply because the Democrats seem like they asked for the maximum on every issue. The Republicans want a $1 trillion bill, but know that they will have to concede on certain areas and that will likely go up. While Democrats uh, asked for everything, including the kitchen sink, knowing that in certain areas they would have to neg negotiate downward. Uh, the fact that each party is playing these games with each other is both annoying and also super annoying. <laughs> Did I mention how disappointed and annoyed I am with Congress and the Senate? Okay, now the HEALS Act, as proposed by Senator Mitch McConnell, who is the Senate Majority Leader, stands for Health, Economic Assistance, Liability Protection, and Schools Act. With an acronym this incredible, you can only assume this bill will be credible. Not. All right. Now, one thing we do know, and it's now been completely confirmed, is that the second stimulus check will be $1,200. We also know that this time around, adult dependents will be included. This means that children and dependents will get $500 this time around. This also means that college-age kids still depending on help from their parents will be included. This also means that people on SS, SSI, SSDI, and VA benefits will also be included. Now, income levels will remain the same as the original CARES Act. Just as a reminder, this means that a single filer can earn up to $75,000 and receive that full check. Anything above that will start to phase out. That also means that a married couple can earn up to $150 and get the full amount, and that will phase out as their income goes up. Okay, now the first attempts at negotiation started last night, and from everything I'm reading, it did not go well, but I did not expect it to go well. Uh, these, these two groups are clashing. Uh, Mitch McConnell said, it was easy to come together in March, but as we've moved closer to the election, it's going to be difficult. Um, I believe that that is true. But uh, hopefully the, the two parties can find common ground and move forward on behalf of the American people. Unemployment benefits under this new proposal would continue at $200 a week until the end of September or uh, to be more exact, that first week, that first five days in October is when the cutoff would be. Uh, this will then go to the amount you were earning previous to the pandemic, up to 70% of your wages, or a maximum of $500 a week. This allows the IRS and Treasury time to work out an individualized plan for those that are still unemployed when we get to the month of October. Hopefully most people are getting back to work by then. Otherwise, then this new phase will, will kick in as of right now. Again, everyone listening to this, this is just a proposal that still needs to be negotiated. Uh, Democrats have already fired back that they are wanting to negotiate the, the $200 a week amount. Um, they are okay to go with the lower amount, but said that at this time they would probably then try to negotiate for a higher stimulus check to the people. So that way, if you're getting less on unemployment, you would get more with a stimulus check. So again, they're gonna have to negotiate that. Um, again, I, I've said again so many times, but uh, again, <laughs> I see all of this as a starting point and not the final bill. 
I think we could see a higher weekly unemployment, but I don't think that we'll see the previous $600 a week. But I could see it being higher than $200 once it's negotiated. Um, if it stays low on the unemployment or goes lower than the $200, then I definitely think we will see a higher stimulus check to the people. Um, but this, this will need to be negotiated. Um, I know this question will come up. Uh, yes, you'll still be able to get your state unemployment. Um, this is just the negotiation for the Federal Boost Assistance, um, or FPUA. Okay, now if you found this video helpful, will you do me a favor and give it a like? That way YouTube will share it with others. And I appreciate all the likes that you've been given my videos and that you guys share this message on social media. It really does mean a lot to me. Okay, now Gary J uh, asks, if the new bill is only one trillion, how does that leave money for stimulus checks, unemployment, and small businesses? Um, that's a good question. Um, as of right now, it looks like the Republican senators uh, aren't trying to do an all-inclusive package. So um, by, by removing some of the things from this package, that's why we're not seeing that high multi-trillion dollar uh, price tag. Um, but some of that stuff could get thrown back in. I think that this next bill is going to be higher than a trillion. I think the one trillion dollars is just a starting point. Um, but um, they're going to have to negotiate that. I don't think it will go to three trillion um, like the Democrat side wanted. Um, so I, I don't think it will go that high. But um, one thing that's not being discussed right now is this need for stimulus money to the states. Now, the Republicans are saying we don't want to bail out states that were struggling before the pandemic. We want to make the HEALS Act uh, exclusively about helping from pandemic uh, losses of jobs and income and, and getting back to school liability protection. So, again, this all needs to, to, to just be negotiated. But thanks for the question. Okay, Sarah H. says, I saw Dr. Fauci went to a baseball game and threw out the first pitch. Does this indicate we are okay to be going back into public and reopening businesses? Um, I, I mean, I think it's a sign that more areas of the economy are starting to reopen. Um, I'm, I'm guessing Dr. Fauci did social distancing and probably wore a mask around strangers or people not in his immediate family. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I would say I would take that as a good sign as if the, the person leading the charge on this is, is starting to do more things in public. I, I, would, I would say that's probably a good indication. Okay, now I've decided not to go live on YouTube this Wednesday like I have been the last four weeks. Um, with the passing of my father on Sunday, I just don't, I'm just not mentally there right now. So I, I hope that you'll understand. Uh, we'll probably pick it up next week or the week after that because I so enjoy being with you and my wife had an absolute blast. Her first thing was, hey, when can I get back on? I love your community, and I love the community too. Um, and I, I just wanna say how much I appreciate all, all the heartfelt messages that came uh, my way, the prayers and the kindness. Uh, my family really appreciates that, and I appreciate that. That's what a community is, right? So thank, thank you for that. Um, as I wrap this up, I just wanna remind you that you are amazing. So go do good today. My friends, I appreciate you being in my community and I'll see you on the next video.